Should we start, Gitanjali? Yes, please. Yeah. So good evening, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining this session today. It is a it is a great, pleasure, great occasion to uh, to have Mr. Uh, Rotarian Jairaman here as part of us. Um, thank you very much, sir, for uh, for uh, coming over and having this session. And given that this is such an important topic about organ donation, and of course, um, I is a very significant part of it. Um, we would like to um, welcome you. And to all, uh, we we understand that you know India is such a large country and such a high demand need of organs. But it is really a sad state today that even though we have got such a huge population, but still we do not have enough organs. And I think the organ donation is the way forward to make, to enable all of us as Indians to get access to organs. So with this, I'll just pass it over to uh, my colleague, uh, Rotarian Shweta, who has, who has done an exceptional work for organizing this program today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Subit. Uh, now, I request the Community Services Director, uh, Dr. Kesni Sagar, to introduce uh, Rotarian Jairam, sir. Over to you, Kesni. Thanks a lot, Rotarian Shweta. Um, so, we're so privileged to have you among us today. And uh, although there are so many things that we, you know, actually want to cover about what you have done and how many lives you've impacted, maybe words would not justify. Uh, but here are a few initiatives that we'd love to share with everyone uh, to give a, a brief interview, an uh, overview about you and your introduction, sir. So, uh, Rodirian S. Jay Raman has done his engineering in the field of electronics and communication and has been a part of several organizations ever since. The latest one uh, was Stream Processors Incorporated, a Sunnyvale-based software startup, where uh, Sir was a director for operations and Sir handled uh, all non-technical assignments like setting up a 40-member offshore set up with HR, admin, finance, and other wings. Along with being a Rotarian since 1991, Sir has been involved in only community service in initiatives for over a decade now. So since the past three years, uh, Sir has been serving as the Director for Disease Prevention and Treatment and has been involved in many activities, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Rotarian Jairaman Sir has been coordinating Rotary District 3190's recent efforts like food distribution, ration kit distribution, medical equipment requirements, mass distributions, setting up different COVID care centers, among others. Uh, Sir coordinated Rotary COVID relief efforts worth about rupees 15 crores uh, to the poor and needy, bringing personally over 1 crore uh, rupees through CSR support. Uh, Rotarian Jay Raman Sir, along with Rotarian Mohan Ramanathan, helped the Department of Collegiate Education to get 12,500 desktop computers in the process of reaching uh, these computers to over 400 government first grade colleges all over Karnataka. And 8,000 of these computers have already reached about 300 colleges. Prior to this, uh, from 2008 onwards, Rotarian Jay Raman served as the Public Image Director district director for three years, during which Sir conceptualized and ran a weekly radio program every Friday for Rotary District 3190 through Air FM 102.9, and had actually handled a whopping 160 weekly episodes as well. Yeah. Sir has also been uh, one of the evangelists for creating e-learning focus in RI, RI District 3190, and was invited as a speaker on this subject during First, the first South Asia literacy meet at Delhi in 2013. Sir has been the founder trustee of Nayana Jyoti Trust since January 2010, with the focus of creating eye, eye donation awareness. Sir created a new approach by developing an easy way to pledge uh, a donation using SMS and enabled a statewide number to reach the nearest eye banks through 104. Sir was honored by the Union Health Minister for the work done in this area, being revolutionary. Sir is the president of IPDP as well, that is Integrated Project for De Development of People, which provides needs to 12,500 school children daily through the Akshara Dasoha project, and also food for 300 senior citizens every day 
and 1,200 senior citizens every Sunday. Uh, the initiative also runs a preschool and a hostel as well, and handles 15,000 strong self-help groups, providing 10 crore plus loan linkages too. Sir is also a core team member of Sankhya, uh, Sankhya which is in, uh, involved in donating 10,000 refurbished computers and installing huge number of e-learning systems. Sir is the founder trustee of Sri Ramana Freak Clinic Trust, involved in eye screening and dental screening. And in addition to that, has also supported Rotary Orchards as an administrator for their Rotary Chaitanya Senior Citizens Home helping the facility to start functioning. And this has become one of the best projects at the moment. Sir has also been involved with AMBA, the initiative for providing earning opportunities for intellectually challenged adults, different wow. tribal health initiatives, and many other organizations on project, project basis to help them flourish. Rotarian Jairaman Sir has a lovely and ever supportive wife named Mrs. Nirmala and a daughter, Dr. Anusha Jairaman, who has a PhD in development neurobiology from University of South California, Los Angeles. She is presently in charge of a brain research center in NTU, Singapore. And uh, he also has a son-in-law who is, whose name is Dr. Atish Ganguly, he's a PhD, and uh, has a PhD and is a project scientist at NUS. Uh, Rotary Jairaman Sir has an adorable granddaughter named Anika, who is studying in the seventh grade. Thank you, sir, for being here. We're all looking forward to sharing, or to you sharing, and how each of us can light up a life through our donation. Thank you very much. I think you have read everything what I have sent to you. I thought you will, you will cut short a few things. Thank you very much. Now, I just cut my video because there, there's some problem with my monitor. And then, I, OK. <clears throat> First of all, uh, thanks for this. And Sweta has put a lot of effort to, uh, you know, uh, interact with me. Are you? Am, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, if I find that. So let me start with uh, in the first slide, which says, "Live 100 years, get as many eyes." Before I go to the next slide, I, I want to tell Subir that I is somehow connected with the organ donation, but eye is basically the, what we are talking is a tissue. And why I'm specifically bringing it out is because of it, which has got into some initial problems in the earlier days, because organ donation and organ replacement is, is got a different significance. You know, the, the hospital which transplants those kind of organs will have to be highly efficient and it has to be a, a totally with a, uh, ICU and all those things, whereas eye donation. Uh, so we have to work with the government to see that it has been moved out of organ into eye, but still eye has been considered as an organ. So uh, this is just for an external inf information to you. So, so next slide, please. <clears throat> see, this is one of the efforts which probably, you know, you all could do that. We have done it for many years in Rotary in multi-districts. You know, to give a feeling to everybody, what is, you know, really corneal blindness is one which somebody loses his eyesight while, while you know, while living, while, while at, at some age of the life, not born blind. So the experience which we brought it through this blind walk where a person will be blindfolded and about 10 people will be touching each other and then there will be one real blind person will be leading them and all those things. Amazing experience, about one to 1.5 kilometers they used to walk. And end of it, everybody will feel how tough to be blind after you are born in, with proper, uh, you know, proper eyesight. So this is one, uh, you know, a good public image one. We have done it in many places. October 10th is the second Thursday of October is the World Sight Day. Probably you can think about it. Next slide, please. So I just want to tell you what we are talking about eye donation is actually eye donation is not a full eye has been uh, to be removed from somebody and fixed onto somebody's eye. Eye donation is generally it mentioned, but it means corneal blindness. I will explain what is corneal blindness in the next slide. So 1.1 million Indians suffer from corneal blindness and 60% of them are children and young adults because of the reason is one of the reason for corneal blindness is malnutrition. Our children and, and youth may not get enough uh, sufficient uh, nutrition 
and they become blind as as age grows up and all you know 8 10 years or 20 years kind of a thing this is increasing at the rate of 30000 every year and if you look at it to replace to give cornea to somebody uh, which happens after death of a person this is the cheapest method to help somebody to get the vision back there are artificial eyes have been tried i mean there is new bionic eyes and there are many researches are going even the minimum entry level kind of eyes which is not even a proven product is about 5 to 10 lakhs per cornea so uh, if you look at it this is the best way eye donation is the most simple and cost effective solution for corneal blindness next please just to see this this is the story which which makes you know everybody will feel very bad about last year we lost about 1 crore fellow indians i mean just approximately i'm saying we had the opportunity to get about 2 crore eyes you know this is this is the calculation which is as simple as that which i can say next please it may be surprised to know that we have about 700 i banks which is on paper there are about 240 200 to 300 i banks which are reasonably working and i could say handful about 100 i banks are like you know narayan netralia kind of i banks which collects more than 1000 corneas every year otherwise the rest of them are you know collecting 50 to 100 200 kind of a thing last year the year before last this is not last year last year is pathetic year before last we collected 36000 usable corneas why i say usable corneas is all the corneas collected may not be useful for you know eye transplant they check the corneas and if it is not having the enough cell count or it has got any other issues they will use it for medical purpose that's called therapeutic that if somebody has got an eye ulcer <coughs> some patching has to be done immediately they will use part of it of the part of the cornea and patch it up as a bandage <coughs> and then later they will get the real cornea and put it and somewhere for training also they use those corneas so we really collected 36000 corneas and what we need an average is 2 lakh corneas per year because our yield rate is about 50% now one of the emails you all would have received that if india if everybody who were dies for 11 days all the people give the eyes we will be able to solve india's problem india's problem is not only those kind of things india also got very limited number of corneal surgeons we have about 800 corneal surgeons <clears throat> all over the country because corneas are not coming so nobody is seeing any progress in that these 800 corneal surgeons can do about 1 lakh corneal operations every year so to get a 1 lakh eed of corneas we need just 2 lakh corneas every year next please so i i came got into it about 10 years back you know i we were involved in uh, basically cataract and other things to the avoidable blindness so i was just looking at how how this cornea i mean eye donation is happening around because eye donation is at least is is talked much about it and then there is much fanfare in signing pledge forms and all those things then when i went into eye banks and checked up with them they all piled up in their store room lakhs of pledges over 20 25 years and they don't know who is the person who has pledged it and the person also doesn't you know he may not be there in india at all to do that so the 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 then i got the statistics how how we are collecting how much we are collecting the eyes it would it was such a gap you know in in india every year you no know, this 50 lakh eyes are possible and then we are not even collecting about 5000 10000 so what is the disconnect between them between these things is the one which made me to think and then i evolved a new approach for creating eye donation awareness you know in eye donation as always i mean next slide will tell you eye donation is not like you know blood donation blood donation i personally can pledge myself and i can go to the eye blood blood donation bank and the blood bank and give my blood and in case if if somebody yeah this is the one yeah. hello should i come back to it yeah hold it so yes. i donation is not blood donation and if you look at it i donation i pledged about 20 i mean 30 years back in skaimatur and i am still alive so the pledge to donation takes lot of time and all those things 
and in blood donation i can even call the person you know if somebody is b plus b positive or a positive i can call him every 3 months to please come there is a need for it in eye donation you know you you can call somebody to say that i need an eye please come and give it to us so it means that we can only pledge and we cannot donate ourselves someone has to help if you look any of the houses any of the places today morning also one of the rotarian has written that he has given the donated the eyes of his mother in law and earlier his mother we can only be there should be someone else has to help and i could see that many i donation opportunities are lost as there was no one to remind or request a bereaved family at the right moment when the, when there is a demise happens and the, the whole family is at shock and trauma nobody is there to we have seen whenever i deliver a talk in a large place a large place when somebody at least couple of people will come and say my mother wanted to donate eyes and she has pledged and she had kept the pledge card and all but at the time when our hand came i don't even know what to do so i <clears throat> i just left it and then after that only i now came to know that she, you know that she she has been longing for eye donation so this is the disconnect which i found out next please and if you look at it we all have only one opportunity to donate our own eyes if we are lucky enough and if we are blessed enough we may get the chance to donate the eyes but if you look we have many many opportunity to reach an eye donation possibility to an eye bank so when i started this i gave my number to most of the people initially and then i asked them whenever there is a bereavement in the family they have to call me and i used to connect them to the eye banks though it was it was troublesome because in the midnights and all over the moment somebody passes away they used to call but then in that process i i collected about 100 pairs of those days now it is about 150 pairs and all those things and so i created that <clears throat> i can even at this point of time i 150 so people can live for 100 years and they can get as many eyes yeah, this is a nice example for you in dodablapur which is very near to us there is a group of teachers led by mr gurudev and these teachers have informed their students all the small children and all if there is any bereavement in their family nearby and all they have to call one of the teachers and the teachers will go there and then convince the family and then get the get the eye donation done and uh, fortunately as per you know many years of in uh, you know, a working with the with the, with the uh, government and all the parliament has passed a resolution saying that trained technicians can enucleate the eyes they can harvest the eyes you don't need a doctor to come because doctors were very reluctant to come in the middle of the night because taking an eye is not a very you know there is not a money or nothing much is involved and taking something from a die i mean dead person is not a big job so the technicians are far more suited for that so the government allowed finally uh, uh, through a law saying that a trained technician can enucleate eyes so all these seven people have trained themselves as uh, as uh, you know uh, enucleators and then they go there and they collect it and then they they are connected to narayan netriyale eye bank and they reach it to them and their process is over so they have collected every day i get from them now in do developer there is no need that momentum has been set up in such a way that anywhere anybody is 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 you know any house has got a you know many things sub misfortune happens immediately they call this one of those people and and give it to them and every day i get one or two photographs of people who have donated this other gentleman is lion ganesh who is in tamil nadu he goes and talks to the colleges and tell the college students and all if there is any any anything around you if there is a bereavement please talk to them and if they are giving or if they don't please call me i'll go and talk so he also does the enucleation and he has cleared about 4800 i donation just to give an idea how an a single individual with a little bit of you know, proactiveness can collect as many as many i as possible next please <clears throat> i myself as as i told that i collected at that point of time about 100 uh, corneas and uh, 100 pairs of corneas and uh, this was happening through my uh, getting my own phone number and it became a little little uh, torture you know night midnight and the getting it all that's why i thought at that point of time how it can be made into a, a system where somebody can call so i worked with tamil nadu government and karnataka government for four years i worked with four health secretaries to finally get it that 
they allowed 108 in tamil nadu as a first in fact the most unfortunate thing is when that you know request has to be made into the government the government asked that you know you are not an i professional or anything and how i know you are just a trust who just started how do you uh, how do who you should bring a group of doctors or an i donation or i i i care professional group into making the request nobody came in spite of i meeting all those things so i have to i told them that i'm i want to put it in my name so the tamil nadu government order is in my trust name it is says nayana jyoti trust from bangalore requested us and then we found it's a usable one so they gave 108 after that they got 104 came in so they are given 104 as a health helpline in karnataka and tamil nadu what it means is that you are traveling somewhere you are in mangalore at the point of time there is a, a there is an i donation opportunity but you don't know the i bank nearby probably you you might try to google or you see your mobile <clears throat> but in this case you know you can just call 104 they will connect you to the i bank to take the process forward for both these things i have been appreciated and then this next week <clears throat> also if you look at it if you are not the donor you are the one who is going to help me to get the eyes i am i am the one who is going to get eyes you are the one who are going to get eyes you are not the donor then i don't need all your information saying that what is your name where do you stay what is your phone number and also uh, what who are you are you know uh, connected people who are close to you and all this i just need to you to feel that you are a part of an for part of a movement so i i don't want anything else except your name probably your place kind of thing so i use this sms process where you no know, you can send an sms to a number and it's a virtual number and then it gives you back a reply saying you are a part of it now the benefit i get out of it is that i can create a database of all the like for example now all the people who have come here today in the meeting there are 20 people they pledge and send the sms they pledge then those pledges will be with me as a database i can create every 3 months i can send a message to them saying that take care of your eyes or give some my messages this is gandhi jayanti and i for ai makes all this now those are the kind of things on a, on a regular basis makes a top of the mind recall for them on the i donation part they will immediately remember that there was a zoom call meeting where they were a part of it and all those things and it will lead to i donation and i have seen people after those messages come <coughs> within 10 15 days i get a lot of calls a lot of people saying that we have donated some eyes and all those things this has been approved by the i bank association of india as a process which has to be taken by all the i banks <coughs> and most of the i banks are taking it next please this is what i have been written about in hindu just to say that uh, how, how i brought it next next please <coughs> so this is the one which is the government has given to me i think probably if you blow it up you can see that 10 108 has been given under request of nayana jyoti trust from bangalore and this made my life a little easy because otherwise i would be getting those calls and all this yeah <clears throat> next this is the same thing which i am still trying it with other countries also they said 112 is coming there is a common number like 911 on the country level if that happens we will be able to do i have been in touch with many of those people like no to and all those people to say <clears throat> they should be a part of this i hope they will be part of it next so now i given you a general idea that if you want to be in i donation you want to be a part of an i donation the easiest way or the best way is to become a site ambassador and you know you help wherever there is a bereavement happens and you know if it is most of the you know if it is either a close family friend or somebody i have seen it in in my own thing of this 100 100 or 150 which i have collected that you just have to ask them the answer can be yes or no and mostly you get yes as the answer and they, the next question they will ask is that uh, you know can you arrange to somebody to collect it and i'll tell you the moment the eyes are taken the whole family's grief becomes half of it and then on the 13th day or they have some function and all this thing they call me and every year they remember me saying that sir because of you my father is is somewhere alive kind of thing they, they get into the 
the first level the people will be so agonized about the death after that this this is happened they will just ask where it has been given sir or it has been sent and all so it is a very easy job only thing is you have to keep in mind and you should you should have the guts to ask and when you ask people people also will ask you questions that they will say he has got just got cataract operation he just now had a diabetes and all those things so the main thing what you have to do is learn about eye donation that is the very significant thing because most of the people don't even know what is eye donation so i found out that i have checked it of many people there are quiz which you put it they will get zero marks because their idea of eye donation is entirely different then second is support eye donation movement become a site ambassador tell it to many people if there is any bereavement you know one person you say you can call me you can go and talk to them and convince them encourage people around also to support the result can come any time because any it can come at at a low pace slow pace also because everybody has got a life of 50 to 60 years or uh, i mean after that if i am meeting you now you are all must be around 40s 30s and 40s or 20s and 30s and other about 60 70 years are there for me so i don't have to hurry that saying that please tomorrow morning go and see whether i get a donation so make this people movement so that we quietly get and after all we have to collect only 2 lakh corneas all over india which means about 3000 corneas for i know karnataka next please mm -hmm. so now what you are seeing is called cornea this is called the what is the you know the translucent when there is an opaque kind of a tissue covering the front of the eye is called cornea what it does is it 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 serves as a window to light to enter it so the light enters through it and you have the iris to hold the shutter and then you got the lens part of it to you know take the you know adjust the uh, like a camera to take the photograph and retina it falls and from retina the the, the nerves you know they take it uh, the side nerves takes it to uh, brain to convert it into image Ima in initial image will be <coughs> on upside down and the brain converts into the proper side so this is the cornea when the cornea becomes cloudy due to disease injury and infections and all these things then you are you are, you are not able to move forward kind of thing you won't be able to see next please so these are the kind of you know the whole thing that the front portion gets into uh, gets into this kind of cloudiness which you won't be able to see it at all yeah next so the main causes are injuries you can see on the diwali time i think many of those hospitals will be seeing people coming to them with this with this uh, all these crackers burst coming in and happening and car cornea may sometimes get into malnutrition is a very 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 sort of you know horrible thing infections happen then chemical burns they you know sometimes the chemical spills over very limited people get into congenital disorders also and then post operative complications that when you do some operation in the eye and then it you know maybe a cataract or something by mistake uh, sometimes the cornea you know it never happens but sometimes it does happen so post operative complications may be one of the reasons next please <clears throat> please watch this this is the most important thing understand that cornea is the front of front of the eyes the lens which is used to be modified for cataract or for you know spectacles is behind it and the retina which may get bothered about maybe maybe getting into the retinopathy is 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 in uh, diabetic retinopathy is far behind it so none of those none of these things affect cornea cornea i mean cornea can be donated by people who wear spectacles people suffering from diabetes asthma high blood pressure tuberculosis the other thing you have to understand is this cornea is a bloodless tissue there is so there is no blood related diseases are possible they only most of the people that's why everybody can everybody's eyes can be donated the only thing they take care is hiv and all uh, they take try to take it and see that you know the people who take may get into it so they don't take it otherwise all these people people who have gone undergone cataract surgery can also donate eyes this one significant point you all should know because everybody thinks including i have met some senior scientists who say i am a diabetic otherwise i would have given kind of things so please keep this in your mind everybody can donate eyes next 
even by mistake it has been donated something wrong the, the, you know it goes for a check in the hospital before it is been transplanted so there is nothing to age does not matter in fact the indian uh, record is 14 days child as when it was a child was read and the parents were genu- i mean uh, very compassionate to give the eyes because there is another child was looking for that congenital this one so they they said yes take it in law and the higher end i think 102 years lady has been taken in chennai vishranti ka gender does not bad i think everybody's eyes if it's a male or female or say please understand you, there is no deal. pledge is not a legal document that it's very clear about it pledge is not a legal document it is only a simple commitment to give it to saying that you yourself reassure that you will when a time comes you will donate it otherwise the end point of it it is to be the next of the kin has to approve it if the next of the kin with even with pledging the next of the kin say no to it my daughter can say i don't want to give my father's eyes period then nobody can touch it so likewise don't take the pledges seriously but then if they say yes to it then that's the end of it if the next of the kin says yes to it that so please everybody let them understand what is eye donation and the need so that they will be at time needed will say yes to it next please all religions endorse the practice of eye donation i don't see any of those we have seen many of those religious people and all those things have endorsed saying that that is the best of netradan mahadan and it it takes it to the last and for me it looks like for a poor or a rich man that is the last part of the donation he can do into the world believe it leave is 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 a signature to the whole humanity is that part of it next <clears throat> how much time i have you know because uh, i i don't want to take much of your time uh, i can skip some of those things or i can go a little quickly no sir we we okay. have time don't worry about the time right so what is the eye donation pro- process procedure i want to say is eyes can be donated only after death please see that there are there are two kidneys available so one kidney can be given while you are alive there is t- liver part of the liver can be given when you are alive but eyes are not allowed to be given it has to be given only after death and the nearest eye bank eye bank comes to the place there is, there is no need to take a body to an eye bank eye bank comes to if it is in hospital or it is to your home they will come themselves wherever it is and then they will take it eyes must be removed within 4 to 6 hours because that is the time period the the cell strength of the cornea remains good so up if you up in 4 to 6 hours it should be they just take some quantity of blood and keep it so that they they rule out the communicable disease while they are trying to transplant it next as i said eye banks will remove it either at the hospital or at the home and eye removal i as i have seen as many eye removals it takes about 20 to 30 minutes and identities either of the donor or the recipients are kept confidential by law it it is a very important thing because <clears throat> there are people you know initially you know has to say that uh, my father's eye i mean somebody says your father's eye been given to them and all and there was a lot of emotional blackmails and were happening and in fact somebody was asking money also so the law is very clearly mm-hmm. says identities cannot be revealed it will, they will all say that it has been given to <laughs> two people or something two youngsters two children and all those things we also remember bujanga shetty telling me that when rajkumar the cine actor rajkumar's eyes were taken all the fans were asking pressurizing him to say who the person who got it and he has to very very stubbornly say no to it because he knows if he tells that people that who were got the eyes will have a very terrible life because these guys will always keep on watching that is a rajkumar eyes and you know they will start even doing aarati into it so you know bujanga shetty was telling that he never gave it out and then that took a lot of stubbornness from his side so this is not being told yeah next <coughs> so what happens to the donated eyes next time the donor's family immediately receives a certificate and the eyes are evaluated by the bank test or connected good quality eyes are used for transplant and others are used for research because there is a lot of research being done and um, and for teaching and all these things and patients are called on the first come first basis they will call and if one is not there the second person will be there 
person who undergo corneal transplantation are reviewed for life please understand one thing this is one of the things probably we all might have seen it in the movies that somebody is eyes are not there and eye donation is given and the next morning the doctor opens the eye and mostly the lover stands in front of him and he identifies her and there is a song sequence next to it that doesn't happen in real eye donation or i you know this kind of corneal this one it takes at least about 3 to 6 months for real you know eyesight to come back they have to take care of it with with a lot of you know uh, there are a few medicines uh, or ointment has to be put and all those things it slowly comes up it, they may be able to see it in 2 or 3 days with the light but then the real seeing comes later and it has to be maintained like that for a long time next so you could see that now how it changes you know from this is the this is the kind of a cornea which has been because of the cornea dysfunction that has been removed and then you have taken the good cornea and the cornea has been stitched nicely around and all these things goes off after some time and uh, this is the this is the part in in uh, in, in government terms that the, the all the poor can get Uh, cornea transplant free of cost cornea is given free but cornea transplant is also made free for the poor <coughs> and the bpl card holders and all for other people i think they charge in a, they with, to the whichever hospital they go according to the status of the hospital you get charged next please so what can we do we have learned about eye donation if you have any questions probably you can ask me now otherwise you can note it end of the day we can do the second is you can support the eye donation movement how do we do that next please <clears throat> become a site ambassador this is what i have been telling you that instead of becoming a donor you know pledge and become a donor you site ambassador a site ambassador doesn't mean that he is not going to give his eyes my site ambassador yeah. as site ambassador i say that i will take care of my eyes if god's gift to be gift as which is the god's gift which i have to take care i will pass it on when my time comes but while i am there i will be able to work with many people to get cornea and then also identify cornea you know people with corneal difficulty to get them eyes this is the site ambassador's basic role which we play so <clears throat> this is where so we all have to please support to and become a site ambassador next so even if you have pledged your eyes earlier to an eye bank there is nothing there is no significance i think if any of you have pledged you can see that the eye bank won't even know that you have pledged they won't even know whether you are alive or not so don't worry about it and mm -hmm. as pledges got a very minimal value you can again do this to join in this so wherever you pledge do pledge it there is nothing wrong in that but then do this also kind of Next. so what i have done is this is what the pledge probably you can take it later you you have to just have this keyword called i and then add your name and and then the place and send it to this number um, 70396 that's a virtual number you you can't call that number and you can add anything if you want to add an email id and all you can do but the i has to be there so i get it immediately and you get a reply back you get a reply back which gives you a, a link to make your own certificate and then it also gives my website when we, if you go into my website you will find more interesting news about the eye donations next please <coughs> so you will get a certificate ashweta got today morning the certificate right yes sir yes so, so it's a beautiful certificate <clears throat> you can make it yourself and then you can make it print it and hang it in your house so that whenever somebody comes they will all will appreciate you next please <clears throat> so helen keller says there is no lovelier way to thank god for your sight then by giving a helping hand to those ah. in the dark ah. i would like to close it with that but uh, i just want to show the box the box if you could see the box is is basically written it has come from sri lanka to to i mean this is being exported from sri lanka sri lanka is the only country where it collects lot of excess corneas and exports we have been getting corneas from them for quite some time and now we are not now getting it those the only significant reason for that is those buddhist monks there has told everybody who are all following 
it is buddhism that saying unless you give your eyes you won't be able to see buddha so they collect huge number of human eyes and then they export it to all over the world <clears throat> i wish somebody some of our religious leader come and tell unless you donate your eyes you won't see the god but it doesn't looks to be like that happening so we all pray for that but then go off i would like to sign off with saying there is no lovelier way to thank god for your sight than by giving an helping hand to it thank you i am over you can ask questions thank you thank you so much uh, for that very informative session in fact you know like i was telling uh, uh, shweta i had some questions and i I I have I mean you have already addressed to that especially that you know like we have already pledged through rotary so can we do that again I think uh, you have answered that we can still pledge it right yeah yeah so so, so I I I've been receiving questions like this uh, you know wherever I go no so I know <laughs> what questions will be asked and then <laughs> yes yes anyone else has got any question please go ahead Can you show that screen with the SMS number once again? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Swetha has sent a, the message. Also, contain. I think uh, have you sent something in that line? No, your poster or something which has been created. It's seven zero three nine six seven zero three nine six. I space name space place seven zero three nine six seven zero. Okay. and it it was very interesting to know about uh, uh, sri lanka you know like being a huge, big exporter of konya uh, as uh, one one area was just looking uh, thinking about it you know like yes you know like taking out the konya it may not be you know like everybody is uh, this thing but how about we are uh, creating um, a sort of a, um, you know like especially addressing this uh amongst the biology students and creating uh, uh these uh, what what is it you know, like someone uh, who can you know like if something happens anywhere they can go and collect the uh, eyes no no you mean i i i think if if today the eye banks are so so effective i think today's morning message has been mm. mentioned there True, true. Narayan Netralia is 24 hours. They come. There are many people. I think fortunately we have so many eye banks here. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is you you should understand this. I'll I'll tell you the first eye donation was a tough thing for me. <laughs> so ask somebody what will happen when I see the first eye donation when it happened, which was the 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 the, the man who died was 60 years old. His daughter is was in USA. His son was there. son here said yes to me and the daughter was there in us and mother was saying we are going to put the body in a freezer and then she has to wait we have to wait i have to collect the eyes before it goes into the freezer because it the quality goes down beyond 6 hours then i took the phone and they asked me to talk to her and i i told her that uh, i i said that the eyes will be there either you you come back and it's going to be in 2 hours i mean 3 hours or 5 hours it's going to be burnt or buried or two people can see and uh, she said uh, yes i think uh, in i also agree if my mother i agrees and mother said fine i have no issues and when she came here and by the time the eyes have been taken and he has been put into uh, put into the freezer and she came about 3 days later by the time the eyes have been already fixed to somebody the girl hugged me and said such a fantastic thing you have done sir this is unbelievable my father must be seeing somewhere and all this thing so this is the kind after that i i haven't looked back because i keep on asking i mean vasant chandra must be knowing we have a wonderful rotarian called v krishnamurti v krishnamurti is a part of mine and one day his son fell from upstairs and then had a head injury got into coma and he was in the hospital Krishnamurthy didn't talk to anybody else. Called me and said that the eye, eye is available for you to take it. You know that is the kind of people get into. Like we also had a DG Vasant Chandra and I think Haridam will know that we have Pandranga Potnis. He passed away while I was in Coimbatore, and then I called his home through another Rotarian. Then Pandranga Potnis eyes were. It is so simple. The every family is just waiting. My neighbor, my neighbor, fifty-three year old boy. who just died he was i was talking to him after 5 minutes he fell down he died in his home natural death but a massive heart attack 
His family gave it to me. It, it is how much connection you have to ask. It. And I'm not saying that you have to work like me or somebody else or 150 and all. But at least see that a neighbor, for me, my mother's eyes, it's so simple. My sisters and all look at me and say, please take it kind of thing. Look at that one pair of eyes. I'm saying that all the all the target set to all of you is, is only one pair of eyes in your life or maybe two pairs of your eyes. Set. That's all. Kabir, you wanted to uh, leave, so you want to ask anything? I had one question. Yes. <clears throat> this is related to Sri Lanka, you mentioned. So, while you said that there is a surplus of corneas in Sri Lanka, uh, is the directive from the monks also related to the liver and kidneys and all? No. See, the eye donation is happening easily because that is See, there is a difference between organ donation and eye donation. Eye donation certainly has, must happen after death only. But organ donation, if a kidney is, is a, you know, liver, you know, it, it is a, while, while alive, while liver has to be taken, it is alive kind of things. Those things, you have to go through the family, if it is a brain death or something like that, you have to convince the family and all this. Whereas eye donation becomes a very simple and maybe probably the monks thought a nice way of saying you want to see Buddha, maybe liver and all may not be, they are not able to connect it to Buddha. Maybe I, I was easy to connect. Now you can see. Uh, so that is, that is the way. Good point. So thank you, sir. Now I have a question. Like uh, who cannot donate? See, I, I usually don't answer these questions because you, you cannot say that I have... I have hundred, you know, food of hundred kg of rice. What is the part of the rice I have not to take? See, our country, you can take everybody's eyes. There's nothing to worry about. What basically happens is people who got rabies or people who got any of those uh, poisonous in this one, and I itself sometimes get into some kind of a problem. Those are the kind of people we avoid uh, because. Uh, you know, you have so many corneas there, which is good one. So they try to avoid that and take it apart. So HIV, rabies, uh, and then jaundice on a continuous basis and all those kinds of things. Uh, they ask them and they, they don't take it. But sometimes the family becomes so, so feels that, you know, some of the families, they know that their people have pledged. And then he says, if you don't take it, it will be a problem. So some of those I banks don't even question them, and then if they are able to take it out, they take it out, and then and then you know they use it as a medical purpose or a research purpose, not as a transplant. So if you look at it, very minimal number of people, because if rabies happens to somebody, nobody will even talk to you to give their eyes because he will have a miserable kind of an end. That end is is, is pathetic, so he won't even talk to. And you know somebody is of that kind of a in a painful death. Uh, sir, I had a question, sir. As you were mentioning that organ donation and, and eye donation is very different. Eye comes under tissue, maybe not an organ. So when, uh, you know, someone's pledged all their organs, uh, does eye come under that as well? See, organ comes under that as for the pledging is concerned and taking it concerned because in a hospital, when, you, when the death happens, it's easy for them to take every organ out of it. If they are pledged for the, you know, if it's a brain dead, the first thing they will give is the eyes because it's easy to give and all the rest of the people, they have to see where the match is and all those things. Heart, they have to see a match and kidney, they have to see a match, they have to wait. And so they have to hold the patients on ventilator for a while and all those things. Whereas eye is one which can take it because everybody's eye can be put into anybody's eye. That's the beauty of the eye. It doesn't have any of those B plus or B positive or A positive. My eye can be given to you, your eye can be given to somebody else. And I also remind the same size, you know, it's almost everybody's eyes has got the same. Cornea size is same, about 11.7 in a millimeter or something. It's the same kind of size. So trimming is not a big thing and they, they do it. So they take everything. Now, the, but the significant, significant point, if you are going to do an organ donation and an organ transplant, that hospital has to be far more equipped. It cannot be simply because there is going to be a Pay, you know, the, the patients have to be taken, they, they have to be given all those oxygen and those kind of things has to be set up. There may be emergency happening at any point of time. 
whereas i donation is is simple i operation so what we tried and did was remove that i from the organ donation part and then bring it down to tissue so as while collection can happen as a as a point of it when the organ part of it as for the operations and other things concerned it's considered as a tissue otherwise it will be big difficulty every i bank has to equip themselves for lakhs of rupees they have to put in for making all this thank you sir so just another question i had that when it comes to um, uh, you know asking in the family once there is a demise so who has the who would be asked in the family like how are they related to the person who is no more see we see function. that in in every house maybe if parents are there if it's a married man married woman or women is there or with both of them and if if a grown up girls are there and then you know, it, it it that a grown up boy or girl can can tell them. any anybody who is next of kin they say it's not that you know in which priority and all those things next of kin anybody sometimes the whole family will will put it on to the uncle say uncle you take the decision whatever you say and the uncle will say yes take it kind of so it, it it won't be of very significantly on the hierarchy or something like that thank you sir Yeah. Anyone else has got any question? So my request is talk to all your friends. At least uh, you know make it uh, as much as possible. Uh, kind of. I see. Uh, I I see. Thirteen uh, people have attended this uh, talk. I I need at least one hundred and thirty pledges or SMS should come from you. When you make the SMS, make them to say I name and your club's name so that I know E Connect is expecting come to it. Yes, yes. Sir. Take it a little seriously because it is last year for COVID during COVID because of the COVID protocols we have collected twelve thousand carniers. i feel terrible about it for the simple reason look at it something somebody is going to be burned within 5 minutes to half of an hour we are not able to do it i i was telling in one of the meeting there is one one uh, fun, one day called akshay tritiya akshay tritiya in all our strict uh, this one and all those things literature all those things on this things is meant for doing dhana to the another poor person or something like that the international gold council has converted into gold buying day akshay tritiya means every lady goes to your bima jewelers and buys it that is a kind of a marketing brilliance we need for i donation you know we somebody should come and do that or the religious people should be able to come into it they are all soft peddling it i have seen sadgurus i have seen shri shris and all they are all soft peddling it they are not putting that kind of an effort which is which is needed for it and millions of millions of eyes are going waste millions of eyes are going and millions of people are suffering through that that is that is really bad. see this is not born blind born blind i mean don't say the born blind is is good but born blind is a person who doesn't even know who is what is the face subir's face they may not know or vasant chandra's face even no But then you grow up and you come to an age and suddenly you see that is you know you can't see anybody and you cannot walk in your house. I have a relative who is seventy eight years got his arnia, you know, because of the problem of arnia, he is not able to see. Life is miserable. He himself and his whole family is miserable now because every day he curses the whole god pantheon of gods. He is cursing, saying that why did they? Who are they? And all this. so. Please put a strict effort. This is not that you know your life. If you can't put one one eye donation, is not in your in your thing. Then you know, I I don't know. I mean, you are additionally you are all Rotarians, and uh, please take it seriously because I don't see any other donation can be that easy. Yes. So uh, born blind can be fitted with a new, I mean, uh, cornea. See, cornea is the front glass yeah, of a yeah. camera. Yes. and the born blind what happens is the connection between the screen which is the retina mm. the brain which is called mm. yeah nerves that is million nerve connection is a 2 lakh mm. sorry 2 lakh nerve connection is there to take this photo there it's mm. like taking a photo of a negative and then mm. developing mm. yes so we what we are doing is only corneal blind mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the corneal 
Okay. But the other thing I can tell you, a born blind person can donate cornea. Oh. Putta Swami in Mysore's eye has been donated. Cornea has been donated. That is the beauty. Because his car, you would have seen people, no? They have same kind of eyes, but only thing is they say, how are you, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, where are you, sir? Well, all, this is the way they look, but you see that they will have the same black and then over there. Yes, they, yes. They, they can give eyes, but they cannot get eyes. But I see in most of the meetings when ministers come and all say, they say, all those our people should be given eyes. I said, fine, I can give eyes. I see only, not EYES. So we'll give eyes. So that's that's an amazing kind of. Uh, uh, yeah. So I just uh, had yeah sorry I had please. another question. No, no 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 please go ahead please go. Thank ahead. you. Uh, so so like how we know uh, for blood donation if we have donated we can you know if somebody is in need in our uh, family uh, or somebody who we know then we can you know probably approach the bank and ask blood bank and ask them could we have this you know, blood, uh, blood group donation from your side. Is there anything like that for, uh, you know, when we do an eye donation as well? See, it, it's like the, all the organ donations, like if you give a heart, you cannot ask for a heart. You know, that, that goes into it. First of all, what will happen is the moment your family gives eye, eye donation, God blesses you that your family don't need the eyes at all. I have seen it. He himself personally told me that I don't. So your family for the next three generations won't have any eye problems. Believe me. Thank you, sir. So I was uh, saying that now uh, Keshinis are, uh, you know, like uh, director for community service. Uh, I'm sure she'll also agree. And uh, we will definitely try. In fact, uh, Shweta has already come out with the poster, which will be shared across. Is Keshini uh, is daughter of another Rotarian? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, I know her. That's why I know. She, she's, she was in touch. Her mother introduced her to me over a message. Okay, yeah. I think so, yes. Yes. yes because the name is very specific, you know, Keshini is not rough, you know, goes everywhere, like Gitanjali or something. So, yeah. Yes, sir. So, so that's uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. yeah. One more thing is like uh, we as uh, we are uh, e club and we have members uh, all over, uh, and especially we have many members who are uh, like uh, from the interior places. Like we have a member from uh, Karbi Anglong, we have a member from Jaipur. Uh, so uh, this number is this applicable? Uh, all, all India, over? all India, all, all India. India, and Jaipur. Jaipur is using. See, I've created the system. Jaipur has got a wonderful, I think Rajasthan has got the best system because of one man called Mr. Sharma. Sharma created an eyes eye bank in Jaipur and then he collected, he made many eye collection centers in Ajmer and all those things. I, I have visited them. They do a good job. They also have this eye, eye collection kind of thing. And see, the very unfortunate thing is government is trying their level best to come in with so many things. I mean, it may need another two hours to talk to you. I don't want to. Think. They had created something called hospital cornea retrieval system. Told every ICU nurse, if ICU doctors, ICU hospital, if there is some bereavement happens, just tell us. And then they have to be the next of the kin has to be told and asked that, you know, your the person is dead. Now you are going to take home. Before that, do you would you like to give the eyes? Very simple question. It's called required request. It took so much time. You know, Parliament one Google goes. I have personally seen. It takes thirteen years for them to even take it up and come to it. Now the required request is simple. That every hospital can do themselves. There's nothing into it. But if I tell you, you will get upset that the hospitals don't want the dead fellow to op I mean, occupy the bed. Because a blood donor, this soon I has to be collect means somebody has to come, and why you should wait for that kind of a thing? I, I, I so many hospitals have have got. Finally, where do they get the hospital cornea retrieval? It happens from the government hospitals. The poor are ready to give. The poor patients can be easily convinced that they give the eyes. But in Apollos and all, you cannot touch them. They will simply say, no, no, it's not nothing, sir, not, not our duty. I recently had a problem there. I had a person who died, and then they kept on saying, sir, please take it, sir, as soon as possible. So we we are, I think, in, in a whole way, we are a lot of, I think, in, in many of the things which I may not have seen it, 
but i feel that as so the idonation comes uh, we we show our inhuman part of us that that's what i see it's a, such a simple thing uh, i feel terrible about it and the the eye removal is such a wonderful thing you can't even see that the eyes have been removed at all i have seen you know some uncle will come at after everything is over and say if you take eyes i you know it doesn't work with our our tradition and all but before that we would have collected the eyes you won't even know about it so just such a beautiful things are happening so don't worry about it let's all put i mean 13 people should make 130 people and you all have many connections try to all them to understand i donation and then uh, if you start looking into it then we can solve i have i have basically solved few problems i think you all can solve the <coughs> many other problem the pitiable thing is that now the the technology has been made in now every even if somebody is both eyes are blind a corneal blind they will be given only one cornea because nobody will be given two because the waiting list is so much that is one part of it on the second part of it <coughs> the eye is basically the cornea has got eight layers seven layers it was now somebody has found the eight layers in such a thin way there is a layers now they are going to see in the corneal blindness happens that in that cornea which layer is not proper and trying to see whether this layer can go into that and solve this these are all you know technologically can be done but the the pain is that these are all available eyes eyes are available in plenty being burnt and <clears throat> that is what the, that is where so it makes it. yeah jayaman sir i read somewhere that by default on death the government or somebody is authorized to remove the organs and things like that unless they specifically say no no we we don't india doesn't have that opt in. yeah correct correct but then that's something they are asking the government to do no no that's what you see uh, one of the things i i feel is that i have seen i have been being with the government and the parliament level where i have seen it indian rules first of all it has to be taken into it and somebody can put a simple thing see opt in is is one thing opt out is one thing where the us and all these things unless you say that i am a jehovah's witness or something i cannot be giving my organ or eyes to anything so i am opting out you have to say otherwise everybody yes. is opting there correct in our country we are all opt out and only correct. opt in will, yes. will happen yes. that one and yes. leave alone that any accident happens to get the eyes from the accident victim is a big thing in spite of police has been told that if the accident will is not connected with eyes if it, he meets we mm-hmm. meets with an accident in the car there is nothing to do with his eyes so mm. let them first take the eyes yes <clears throat> we have okay. to go to senior dcp and all this thing. i mm. think we, everybody cannot have dcp connection for getting one yes. piece of you know so we all leave it can i i had this recent then one fellow has fell and got his skull and then he passed away after 8 days so he is natural they were they telling that no no eyes cannot be taken because police has to come and all those things i said you know it is not a eye has not been in part of yeah, correct correct yes so these are the things which some stupid law somewhere but one good thing is that the trained technicians can take uh, that has made lot of youngsters to take up this inflation part they go and take it and uh, they give it to the capillaries it can be eye collection centers can be done. thank you Subir, yes. yeah. you wanted to ask something yeah i had the one question uh, yes sir very basic to maybe so one is you said that you know cornea is the front glass of the eye yeah right so if it is a glass of the eye then i believe that um, i mean it is a sort of a Uh, isn't it technically possible to uh, artificially create that particular portion yeah uh, they are all trying trying it out i said no one uh, initial sample which came to uh, came to bujanga shetty in the trial period it was costing about one cornea costing about 7.5 lakhs oh my god that was that was the initial period after that it's still there there many people are trying because Uh, many people are trying many other eyes also they tried other eyes also now i'm taking it from uh, pigs and taking it from all those things so it hasn't worked out as effectively as the the human eye which is one to one you know you take it and then uh, because of the same size and it naturally gets into 
it it gets into and merges with the whole you know chemistry of the body they try and still they will be trying at some point of time it will come and it may be a little costly but then if need eyes big guys can accommodate but the poor may not be but then we we are not in that we basically would see somebody gets eyes at some point of time the other other quick question is that you know you mentioned that in sri lanka there is a surplus uh, uh, like most of the people are donating so can't that be a great source of uh, you know i know it is embarrassing no no they, they they see they have been giving at some i am tell you about it 15 20, 20 years back uh, uh, our hl airport used to receive it from sri lanka eyes for all these eye banks then it become a very very you know embarrassing issue for india to say that i need it but sri lanka today exports to 37 57 countries they export and they are not charity they are price no no you see there is money involved in it because it has to be processed it has to be put in proper container it has to be transported and all those things and mm. they also charge something because they have to maintain all those kind of hospitals and all this right, charity right. is not there so, but then they but for us and all those things that 1000 dollars or something which is a cost of transport they all take it very happily and do that so so a corollary to that so if someone needs a cornea one can advise them that you go to sri lanka and you will get possibly a donation for cornea i i don't know about the structure of how do they do it and all this thing maybe it it should be like we have you know any other transplant we can go to some places it must be but i haven't exploded that many many of those things if somebody wants it can they go there and and get it and all those things but on the contrary i have one thing i can say in india maharashtra state can take corneas from all over i can send corneas from here to bangalore but if a maharashtrian dies in maharashtra his cornea cannot come to bangalore that is the broadness of the indian government indian state governments the doctors are you know can't don't know what to do with that that is the kind they said our maharashtrian cornea is maharashtra such as <laughs> what uh, sir how about you know like working towards changing such stupid policies actually i mean how old are you when... another trade i took 4 years to change 104 to accept my thing <laughs> you are ready for another 20 years you can change it oh you can go and talk to udav thakre and tell him please <laughs> and then he will say i don't even know about it i don't know is it happening then you have to build it on that kind of so, but i'm just exposing to you that how you know uh, uh, ludicrous that these kind of things are happening in a country i mean which we think that everything is so once you get into it i just got into i donation there must be million other things if you ask vasan chandra or somebody they will be able to tell in their own field of interest that they, how do they stop everything and all this but this is was this was very painful i i was there i was stunned they said no no you can't take corneas from maharashtra you can take it and then there was another suggestion was made that you know why don't you pay for corneas for taking corneas corneas are now not paid for if only for inoculation you take it and the eye banks gets 2000 rupees that's from the government and it will take its own time but you can't ask somebody's house saying that you know you if i get a cornea then we will pay for you because they have seen the negative part of it you know they say that for a, you know in 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 in, in families just for the heck of one bottle of you know ram bottle of liquor if the mother doesn't give 75 rupees they kill the mother now if i say i'm going to give 5000 for uh, eyes i think the mother will get twice so they said it's a risk it's a risk not to do it if somebody doesn't have money should not go in and start beating people and getting the kind of so lot of rules which we look at it from outside looks to be very simple very simple why not they do it but getting into it they gave you the answers like for why the names of why the donor and the recipient should not know each other is one thing i am i'm sure if if uh, rajkumar's eyes were known uh, their their uh, all their uh, fans would be doing every day puja to that fellow and that fellow can't even even opening they will say don't open today and all those kinds of things so these are all laws but uh, what we can do is you know i look at the other point of view we are burning or you know burying one crore corneas 
look at that. One person has to be collected. That's all. Let's work on that. You give any other impediment, any other problems, don't worry about it. Tell all your friends, one and their own family. I'm sure if somebody says, my family, nobody dies, I think I, I, we, can, we can salute them. But then every family dies. And dies of natural cause, dies of age. There's nothing like a shock that whole everybody family is going to close their life and go. So I would say that, can we look around it and then try to see? We have seen people who are, I mean, this is the kind of work which we have to do and to make that asking. And if you, if you are not confident, you should call me and say, or if you call another gray haired person like Basan Chandra to say, please, can you go and talk to the family? We all can talk to them. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we, I mean, we I mean, as uh, as secretary of uh, Rotary Connect, we'll definitely uh, make this as uh, one of the, uh, you know, like very important initiative. As I said, you know, we have myself, Subir, we have already pledged, but again, we will go through the process again to create greater awareness amongst our members, amongst our relatives, amongst our contacts. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, any, any more questions from anyone? No, don't I worry about giving your eyes because when time comes somebody will do that yes because but then you have to show that you are doing like for me i know that i have been giving 150 pairs so somebody knows if yes. there are something happens he cannot be left alone yes his eyes have to be taken. so don't worry about it do that way that's, true, that's a good true. approach to do that kind of. very true very true rather than saying i'll give my eyes don't worry when will happen and all. <laughs> you should be lucky enough. No? Rajiv Gandhi pledged his eyes. Nothing right. happened. Not right. even a part of his body was not there. So this is where the life is kind of. So let's yes. let's try to get which is possible, which is very, very possible. Mm. That we can get somebody's eyes delivered. And then the eye banks are doing excellent work coming and taking it over. Mm. So no time they will come. And uh, sir, do you do we have a list of all the eye banks here? Uh, like you are just Google, one you're common all net, net connected people go to google and say i no, no, no. what i'm saying is uh, you know like this now i mean um, uh, just we'll have to call this number and they will come right they will come they will. Okay. see that's what i'm saying they are they are so proactive because you can call at any time they will come to the place where it has to be you give an address they will come there and do everything and then they do it in such a nice way they will come first and put the Put a hara onto the onto the you know dead body. Make with with reverence. They take it and then clean it up everything, and you won't even know that that has happened kind of things. And they give a nice certificate and then take it back and all these things. So uh, for 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 that only I made this one zero four as as a number call number. It can be you can call one zero four and also they will be able to. See. But otherwise, it's not a big. You just go into the net and then say that, or your mobile and say that is high bags and all. I, I in fact put a challenge to Cognizant and other people to create a Google-based mapping like the coffee day. You know, coffee day does when you near nearest to coffee, uh, mm. then it gives you multiple kind of things. So I asked the technical guy like CGI and Cognizant said they will do it. After that, you know, halfway through their volunteerism went down, so they just stopped. Mm -hmm. So th th that can be one thing which you can do. And there are not many I donation I banks available. There are about really working maybe two thirty four or two fifty or three hundred kinds. Right? In all Bangalore itself? All over the country. Bangalore mm -hmm. has got eighteen I banks with no, no nobody gets any eyes. Oh. They get only banks. Mm -hmm. So the message, the SMS that has to be sent for pledging, does for every person has to be from uh, you know a unique phone number or from one phone number we can send multiple? See, the, the idea is that you get a, you, you are being in touch with them. What happens in I donation? You pledge. I mean, Geetanjali says she has pledged. Where did you pledge? Yeah. Where? Which uh, by? Rotary. Rot uh, uh, to Rotary Health City. Yeah. Where are they now? Are they calling you anytime? No, sir. <laughs> how, much, how many? So the problem is today, after a long time, Geetanjali is talking about I donation or thinking about I donation. The idea of this SMS is not getting sms but it will allow me to directly send you a message to send you a message to subir's message mail it will say i know this is this is take care of your eyes don't do this don't do that kind of thing 
Now that is the kind what makes us, it, it triggers into your mind that mm. saying, yes, you, you were a part of I donation movement. And this, this instead of a 40 years, you don't even look into the I bank, you get an opportunity to at least see once in a while what is happening. That is the idea. Don't don't do that smart thing of sending it from one phone and no, all. No, I like, don't need. I'm not looking at your eye. You know, SMS is not going to add value. So tell everybody to send from there. If your mother is to send, mother should send it alone. Sure. It will come to her mail mobile so that the message can be still taken to them. And this is just a top of the mind, you know, recall for that kind. Of thing. No, sir. Like for example, some people like maybe our helpers do not own a phone, or maybe an older person, you know, to help. No, no them. don't worry. See, SMS bridging. Like don't that. worry about it. What yeah. I'm saying is, tell them. You you become the core point of it, saying mm -hmm. that whenever there is a bereavement in the house, just call me. This this SMS is nothing. I mean, if you don't send out the because most of my people who are donating eyes have no nothing with the SMS. They don't do. The SMS is only for people who, so that it. For you, if you get a trigger, then you, at that day you can call and you're not talk, when you're talking to your domestic people, you can just say, phone I think something like this, you can be a part. We, we all should take it that way. The, the SMS is very nominal. It's as, as good as the pledge, but then it allows me to get back to you. That's only the benefit I get. Thank I know you. who has pledged me for 10 years back. I keep every month, every three months or four months, I send a message. And they, in, in turn, will make others as sight ambassadors. That's, that's a benefit I get. I think it's a wonderful reminder for them. Yeah, yeah thank you, sir. Yeah. So one, one question. Uh, see, what I understand is that many, earlier, the people used to place their eyes in a sort of a card. Mm -hmm. And you pledge it, and it goes into some stack of files. And it is possibly lost forever. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there is a merit to actually digitize that data? that you take it from the high banks, put it into a database, possibly then it helps you in communicating by if, if any postal address is there, at least you can send a postcard or if there is a phone number, you can communicate. Because I think the whole uh, messaging or the communication is lost. I mean, people do uh, put in the data, but possibly, you know, that is never used again. But who will do that job? High banks no, are not interested. Who? High banks are not interested in that. But if uh, if some entity uh, re approaches the I bank hmm. and offers to do it for you know for as a social service, will they be open to give that database? They may be. See, but you are assuming the point is, Subir, tell me one thing. You know, you are here today. You may tomorrow in Ahmedabad. What is your I pledge going to Rotary Health City is going to help you? You are not even going to give a following address. See, I think my follow-up follow address is not with them. You, you should understand how these pledges are still the high banks. I mean, high care centers are asking for this. I'm not talking about Rotary. All the eye care centers are asking for these pledges. That is a marketing aid. If Subir and Geetanjali comes and writes their address and all this thing, I pledge my eyes. This is also a marketing aid I can send. They do send messages, but not eye donation. That is a database for them to send you later saying that whenever you have a LASIK surgery, please come to my place kind of things. That is not the question at all. You know, the problem is that I, I that is why they are not ready to shift to any other systems. I banks are exclusively holding themselves because they don't want to be a part of a whole system. And the, but when they talk to them, they will say, I have I bank Association of India and all this. They don't want to get in. They want... When I created this common number, I was expecting all those I banks sh should be honoring me and uh, taking me. None of the guys are interested because they want the call to come straight to their, including Shankar and Netralia, which is run by Badrina. He says the call has to come to me. I said, How a call from Bangalore will come to you? It won't come to you. Or not even single, but you're in Vellore, the call won't come to Madras. Vellore fellow will call a Vellore guy. Why are you worried about it? I am giving, no, 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 in Bangalore, in Chennai itself, all those I banks. So they are all fighting for this 10 karniyas instead of making a common effort to get 200 karniyas and share each other 40 karniyas. This is what the problem is.
Isn't Even it? today, I wrote last time Mahesh Kotbalge and all. I wrote a mail saying that this is a thing which you should do. All those one lakh sixty thousand Rotarians should make at least ten people of them as a as a as a site ambassador to be part of this one. That's surprising, sir. <laughs> Don't yeah. there are many surprises. Don't see whatever outside is there. We all live. We all do things because we can. I can do it myself. There's nothing like this. but i i think you know subir between you and me i have gray hair seen life far more than you and i i will certainly by your motivation words because talking back to you doesn't help because i have gone through the whole process i have got my younger days when i sitting in the thing but the teacher will say you work hard you will do all this nothing is i leave it to you please work up to my age and then think about it logically only we can approach a problem a problem can be approached logically and people has to understand and, and do that if the logic is not working why maharashtra is sending the eyes not what is the logic in that and now you say no something will change i it will change here somewhere the something has to change you know 13 years we took time to change to uh, trainees to train a trained technician to take it over it will change but then that is a process which you all have to take it up and see how best you can you can help and go go to the i bank i can introduce you to lines i bank they got 1 lakh pledges in their store room you can do something with that sure sir sure sir i think uh, uh, probably you know like uh, put the i banks in the google maps so be so be do that hcl can do that <laughs> no, i mean for that i don't think that we need hcl some we can find some uh, what you call youngsters Yeah. they do it much faster and better and so yeah so now today's conclusion is subir will do the google map of all the i banks of india whether i know the tech or not but i can certainly team up with few in my club and get that done yes. so i'll I'll do the i banks list yes sir who's that yes sir done sir so one one very productive uh, response out of it that uh, we will start with that If that will help you know whenever you have a mobile and when you are traveling somewhere you put nearest i bank it will immediately say i want that kind of a thing like i am impressed with the coffee day so i i want like one of those coffee day kind of a thing which we can say mm-hmm. sure sir sure sir we sure, sir. wonderful nice talking to you all of you yeah, thank you very thank much you. sir thank you uh, i you, now sir. request uh, shweta uh, uh, please uh, you know like uh, go ahead and uh, say Thanks. Shweta, you would have put little more effort to bring other clubs also into it. So we share it everywhere in the Rotary. No, no, district. that sharing, you know, you you are in, you know, you are at, you are just coming to the Rotary. I think sharing doesn't help alone. Sharing is one thing, but you have to presently. Who is your president? Subir. Subir should have talked to the presidents and talked to them and all. In Rotary, nobody comes by this one unless I know Geeta and Jali have found it, but the E Ganesh itself, you know, they all. Uh, Uh, that uh, uh, all Ganesha to give, she has to work hard for that. So likewise, unless you take that kind of a care, that thirteen and fifteen people doesn't work out. You know. Sure, you sir. I think this is a good feedback. Set up a nice meeting next time because uh, sure, I, I have the same enthusiasm to talk any meeting with one or two people. But I would prefer that we put our effort because many thoughts may come out of this meetings. It will help. so public image should now you should think about this you know the blind walk that could be a interesting project for all of you guys yes sir that what is that multi clubs can join i can guide you on that mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. october 10th is the world site day and uh, everybody enthusiastically participates in that mm-hmm. you know particularly youngsters are all very lovely they try it up and then walk like this that day and the end of it if you wish you ask them to say their experience they all say right now they are ready to give the ice like that. Sure, but we don't take like that. Now. Yeah, Kishan and Shweta can work on that together. Actually, yes, definitely. More than done. I'll, I'll send you a document on that sometime. Please do, sir. And then you can do that. But you have to work with other clubs and all those things. 
not your 12 12 people cannot uh, make a, it <laughs> it should be at least 100 i think 50 to 60 clubs they all will come yeah. we all have collected about 800 to 1000 people for that yeah one more last thing i just wanted now that we have this sister club you were talking about taking the, uh, this whole uh, initiative abroad also uh, probably we can subir uh, we can talk with our sister club in ghana Hmm. see you have to see their process of iteration how is it happening mm-hmm. see uh, what are the rules and regulations and all as as a simple thing we can do mm-hmm. they, they themselves can uh, can do but what i'm saying is how do this uh, ru- rules how do they handle or do they need carnial donation at all because they are better than us like if you go and tell the same to your if you had a sister club in spain or norway mm-hmm. it won't gel because they get enough and more Oh okay because there is also opt in opt out kind of things they have mm-hmm. to say no to it otherwise it automatically goes in oh everybody okay. who passes away gets his eyes removed and all so mm-hmm. you have to opt out of it and all it's a problem just check it out but sure, uh, sure, 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 look, sure. look with uh, many more and your organizations bring in your see rotary is oh. only an entry point then you have to bring in your organizations and uh, where you work and then bring in people and all see we need lot of youngsters to be part of it we need lot of school children to be part of it to understand what is eye donation and this is not asking the school children to give the eyes it is not asking them to where we are to go, become a ambassador only so many of the children will be very enthusiastic because they can give you information on that and all this sure sir sure sir. yes sir shweta please go ahead is yes, probably we should uh, tie up with a rotary clubs and intra clubs so the youngsters and the young generation will be aware of how exactly what exactly is eye donation because after attending your session we just you know it's just not an eye donor we can just create awareness about how a person can donate eyes so let on uh, this one we have to create awareness to the young generation also Good. so we will work on that sir all right maybe shweta you we should uh, go back to sir after some 15 days or 20 some time and whatever we think we can put our minds that these are the things that we can do in 6 months 8 months whatever time and give a sort of a brief plan uh, that we will involve rotaract interact we should involve any other communities it's some plan that we can think the 10 12 task including the google maps etc and give it to him and on the after the completion of that period we should go back to him and say please come again See, so be the one of the easiest thing which I mean I just would like to close it with saying that you know one of the things which why why I made this kind of SMS and all one is logically it fits and second is I and my wife sit here create site ambassador all over the country. I get yesterday from you know Maharashtra I think Maharashtra it came and then somewhere because wherever this news goes you know whatever the pamphlets which you have, you have made yourself. send it to thousand people somebody will 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 remember and then it doesn't have to be involved in you know sending an sms and all i have seen when i go for a meeting i my in a somewhere i go that fellow will say you know 3 years back you met me and you told about in the train about it no i my other fellow passed away i gave the eyes the the only thing which i am asking you all these 10 people or 12 people is to keep talking everybody and tell them maybe make a brochure whatever i have sent you today print it in your letter and give it to everybody or send it as a mail don't worry there is not going to be you won't you may not even know that the result at all today ramdas writes a mail that's why i know that ramdas is is he is doing ram ramdas has got his mother in law's eyes given otherwise many of the places i don't know what is the i i the contribution which my words are made to people and all and it continues so you can easily do that by telling everybody in delhi or anything wherever whom you meet just tell them that if there is any bereavement just ask them to donate it all that's all i i i need it and it, it's it's a long long haul because if 45 years india hasn't come up to any off even the level Uh, you know then you know you know it's it's a long haul but then uh, somebody has to do we all can continue sure sir sure sir yes sweta please go ahead so it was a very wonderful session uh, to hear from you sir and uh, 
we from rotary connect thank you for being a uh, on the speaker series session today and we look forward to work with you uh, after doing a lot of uh, homework so we'll get back to you very soon sir good thank you sir good thank night you. to everyone good night, really sir. i think i took you through another about one one hour or so it's long time no, no, it for a rotary very... meeting it doesn't work <laughs> no? Rotary meetings cannot be one hour and all those things. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much, Rotary. Yeah. I had you, spoken sir. to you. I had spoken to you with the reference to Rotary Rajesh. I'm Shalini and Keshni is my daughter. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. <laughs> I Thank know you, that's what I tried. You know, that's what I was. Keshni was a name which is separate. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Thank you. Me. Thank you so much. It was wonderful, Thank interesting. You. And I have got my I certificate. I registered and I got my Oh, lovely. You know how nice it looks, right? Yes, it is. That certificate looks very nice. And with Thank your you. name, it will be looking better. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So please do talk to people whom you know and then try to keep them keep them in the loop to understand the donation kind of thing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you very much, in sir. Fact, what we are planning is this recording will go along with uh, what uh, Shweta has prepared the poster so that people will know exactly what eye donation is and uh, they can use the poster and good nice thank you thank you thank technology you, is in your hands yes <laughs> thank you sir thank you good thank night you, good night everyone good night, good night, everybody. thank good you night. Shweta. Thanks, yeah bye bye bye